G'day, that's Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to another Slot Car video. And today we're checking out a 1970s slot car set. It's the high rev slot car set. It's go karts. I'm a massive fan of go karts, so let's get stuck into it. Full unboxing. We'll take a look at the cars that are included, and let's see if I can actually get this thing working. So welcome back to another video, and I do say I like buying stuff that's different, and this caught my eye. It's an eBay purchase. It is the Lincoln International High Rev Racing Car Slot Racing Set, a 22-piece set. Now, I've done some research on this set at seven. I believe it's from around the 1970s. It is battery operated, which we do see some of that these days, more on like the kiddie stuff, but it's really cool to have something that's pretty much complete from the 70s. So we'll dive on in, we'll take a look at what's inside the box, have a close look at the go-karts, they are really cool. I'll try and tear one of those down, I think. If, if it won't break, I will tear one down, and then we'll get one of these going around my track. Now, unfortunately, I think the track inside has seen better days. I've got a little scale tr track set up down beside me, so I can at least try and get these things going around some kind of track. So, let's dive in and let's unbox this high rev slot racing car set. So before we take a close look inside and what we get in this beautiful 1970s golden oldie, let's have a look at the box itself. I love it, the go-karts on the front, we've got the Formula One cars, ours is the go-kart set. I did say it was complete, it is not unfortunately. I don't have the fences, I don't believe I've got the curved track in there, but that's okay, we've got enough in there to make a track and the cars and the controllers are in there. But let's take off this goodness hopefully no butterflies or moths come flying out and there we go now we probably have missing the insert but that's okay but what you can see straight away we've got two controllers two go-karts and we've got 10 pieces of track now the track itself is in pretty good condition if i could compare this to something i'd say it's more like the arton track uh, but of course being older this stuff does rust up a bit now this is in good condition there is a little bit of surface rust on some of the connectors but we'll get to that in a tick but the plastic itself is in good condition here's our crossovers to complete the circuit there's one and unfortunately underneath we do have a little bit of uh, surface rust so i will polish that off and see if i can get that going and here's our power base and i'll probably use that loosely because your controllers plug into here and your controllers is what hold the batteries but there we go a little bit of surface rust i will try and clean that up but while we're talking controllers, let's move the cars first. I want to get a close up of those. The controllers are very simple design. One of them I have already opened up. We've got blue and red to replicate the cars. They're a simple press down button operation and inside you put two C batteries like so. The tree go inside. Now this one's not bad condition, very basic, negative and positive. We do have the connectors on the end which plug into your track. But unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to do a rebuild on the red controller. I have opened it right up because there is a little bit of uh, battery acid, some rust going on inside. And I do have to do a full rebuild on this to get this one going. So unfortunately, I can't show you these cars being used with the original controller and track, but I do have a little track set up to do a test run. Now let's have a quick look at these beautiful go-karts and then we'll zoom on in and take a close look at these two little beauties. So let's take a closer look at one of the go-karts. We'll use the red one for an example. Just have a look at what a slot car may have looked like in the 70s. And this thing is really, really cool. Now we've got a decent size figure on there. I'm gonna say they're around the 132 size. There's nothing mentioned on the car or the box, but I will say it's 132. Now keep in mind the Ninko go-karts, I believe are, are listed as 118 scale. So these are definitely smaller. I do like the figure, he looks pretty cool. Very open design. Uh, I like the motors at the back, nicely chromed out. But what is really cool about these slot cars is take a listen to this. So as, as the wheels turn, it makes a motor noise, which I think is pretty cool. But let's flip upside down and have a look underneath. And again, really good condition. These tires will need a sanding because they are spinning. I have tested these on another track, uh, but I do like the guide, very interesting guide. I think there's some of the older slot cars, I believe Arton might've had a guide like this and many others from that era, pretty much just a nice little plastic point. And these braids, like, they are harsh, harsh braids. And I will zoom in and do it, give a closer look, but very good condition. I will try and tear one of these apart, but I don't want to thread the screw if I don't have to, but there you go. Chromed outside rims, really cool looking thing, but let's have a listen again. I really think that is pretty cool. Let's bring in the bluey quickly just to have a look. This is car number two, that is car number three. I don't know where car number one is. The blue is exactly the same. You can see there's a little bit of rust going on here, but the figures look good. Probably could take them off and give them a bit of a clean. I might do a rebuild on them, but again, 
this one's missing a bit, but we'll get the idea. There is the motor upside down. Braids are in good condition. The guide is still there, really cool. But let's try and crack this open and have a look at what's making that noise. Alrighty, I've completed the teardown on go-kart number two, the bluey. Sorry, mate, he's on his side. I was very gentle, two screws only, and a little bit of the bodywork fell off, but I think I can fix that quite easily. Now, I was expecting to see something very unfamiliar inside here because it is quite a unique item. But to me, it looks like a you know something we see today, a scalatric motor or you know a slotted motor. It's definitely not one of those, but the motor itself is very familiar to me, which is really cool. Don't know what they used back in the day, but I was happy I didn't see something quite uh, unique. The cool thing about this though, it does make noise. Now let me have a quick go at it. So you can hear that little thump. Now on the end of the motor, and I'll see if I can zoom in, there is a little bit of plastic. It's got like a, a longer end on it. When it comes around as a full rotation, it flicks that little bit of metal, which in the center of that metal is like a hammerhead, and it knocks on this bit of plastic, making that awesome noise. And you can imagine when the wheels are going faster, of course it'll sound like a motor. But the cool thing about it is if you flip it upside down, there is some cutouts underneath that bit of plastic so the noise can come out almost like a speaker, which I think is really, really cool. Now, I'm not too sure if they're both the same, the red and the blue. I'm not gonna crack open the red, but if you ever listen to the red, to me that sounds a little bit softer. So at a guess, they may have used a shallower bit of plastic uh, for their hitting base. I'm not too sure, but I'm not gonna crack open the red. So let's put together back the bluey. I'm gonna give a quick bit of sanding to one of these, and let's take it for a quick spin around my little skeletal track. So I've got my scatter trick little circle track going. I have tried to get this thing going around and unfortunately I don't have enough tread or grip on the tires. Now I have tried to sand them, but as soon as I put any pressure down on this rear axle, it doesn't want to spin any further and it's starting to chew up the rear gears and I don't want to blow the motor as well. So unfortunately I can't drive it, but let's see if we can make it make that beautiful go-kart sound. I think that sounds pretty good, but I've also found now that it's running, it's starting to vibrate this little, and there you go, there's the guide, it's popped out, it's starting to vibrate the guide out of its little slot, so I don't want to damage it, let's have one more listen to this beautiful motor, if I can get it going, I think that is pretty cool, now let me know in the comments, do you think we should bring back some of this exciting engine noise. I'm not too sure, but let's try and get the red in. I'll take that guide out. The red itself wasn't working as good as the blue. But let's see if I can get this one making some sound. And there you go. I think they do have different bits of plastic in there to simulate different motor noise, but let's have another listen. And let's see if we can take off. So that wraps up my little retro review of this incredible little slot car set, the High Rev Slot Racing Go-Kart set from, I believe, the 70s. Now, I was surprised that the Go-Kart took off, and that's why I just held down the trigger and kept going. So I was happy that the car, one of them, got going around the track. So I hope you did enjoy that. And the sound was really cool. I think that kind of stuff they should bring back into the hobby. It makes it fun. Now, I believe this company also makes a snowmobile set, which I am now hunting for, because I love the weird and wonderful stuff, but stuff like this I like to put on display. The track's small enough to set up on a table and have a quick burn around, so this stuff I really like. And if you do like seeing this kind of content, please let me know, because I am hunting all the time from different brand new stuff to old school stuff to everything in between, so I hope you did enjoy today's episode but as always at that slot car guy on instagram and youtube here is my email if you want to send me any pictures of your track build any cars that you're building or anything that you think trav try and hunt down and review but be safe take care support your local ciao